I'm Jason, the creator of the Tabletop Battlefield, and judging by the shirt here, as well as well the YouTube titles, that probably gave it away. <laughs> We're going to dive into a different kind of fictional setting for robotic combat and take a look at what is supposedly the newly restocked Battletech, a game of armored combat by Catalyst Game Labs. <laughs> So no matter how I hold this up here, it's going to be a little bit of blindly reflected light there because I got my two light panels sitting here illuminating things. But this is Battletech, a game of armored combat, the new starter set that was released back in January, and it's going to have a heck of a hard time trying to find it. This particular copy I had a friend pick up for me at the Origins Game Fair a little bit ago. But supposedly according to Catalyst Games Labs, who currently manages the Battletech license, they don't own the license, but they're the ones that make all the games for it. Um, this should be hitting retailers restocked very soon, if not at the time you're watching this video. But Battletech is a classic game of giant robotic combat. It is one of the oldest, if not the oldest, actively published and managed tabletop games out there. As you can see from my shirt, it's currently celebrating its 35th year <laughs> in production. And unlike Warhammer 40,000, which actually is younger than Battletech, it hasn't changed much in 35 years. The rules in here are not all that different than some of the early rule books I've got sitting here and the first edition that's sitting back on my shelf behind me. Let's go ahead and dive into this box set and see exactly what you are getting. So the MSRP on this set is $60. So first things first, you got this little short story here. It's a little fiction introduction to the Battletech universe. It clocks in about 20 pages and has a few more in the back here for some just kind of imagery referencing some of the um, types of ships, mechs, as well as some of the technology. Now next up we have the assortment of cards. There's 16 cards in this set. Eight of them correspond to stat cards for a game called Alpha Strike. This is a variation of Battletech. It's a quicker, faster playing game, and it's actually not included in this base set, just the stat cards are. The rules you can purchase, I believe available at the time this video is out, they're in the Commander's Edition or something like that. We'll take a look at that rule book when I get a hold of it because I do have that one in pre-order. But these particular cards here are not actually used with the game that's in the box. Then we have some pilot cards here. I believe these are used with Battletech and not Alpha Strike because they do make reference to some individual weapon systems, which is something unique to the mainline Battletech game and not Alpha Strike. Of course, it's 2D6. The game of Battletech is based entirely around 2D6. And now we get to the coolest part, which are the eight miniatures. These eight miniatures are the best Battletech miniatures that I've ever seen. They're all plastic. They come pre-assembled. And they just look so much nicer than anything that has came before them. So let's do some comparisons. So I have some of the really old miniatures in terms of early 90s, late 80s era miniatures sitting over here, and you can kind of see the difference. Let's take a look at the awesome. This has always been one of my most favorite mechs. So this, the gold guy over here, this is the awesome from the 90s-ish, whenever I started getting into Battletech, and this is the current one here, the unpainted plastic one. The miniature is a little bit bigger, it's a little bit more bulkier, and frankly, it's a little bit more believable that it's a giant combat robot, in this case 80 tons, than this guy here. So he definitely looks like he's built to take the weight of a massive combat robot. Next up is the Catapult. This guy, I love this mech. I mean, a lot of people love the Catapult. He's one of the two mechs that I have for MechWarrior Online. This particular miniature, though it kind of looks like the MechWarrior Online Catapult, it is not exactly that. I was kind of hoping it was, but it's not. But over here, this is the original pewter Catapult from, you know, same time period, 90s, early 2000s. I forget when I got this one, probably late 90s. But once again, it's a little, the new one's a little bit more bulky, and it just looks more like a structurally sound giant combat robot. And finally, one more for comparison is a Thunderbolt. Now, this thing over here is what you call an unseen mech. If you're new to Battletech, feel free to read about those. It's a long legal battle. But here's the new one. Oh, it's just so much cooler looking. And all these mechs are also much more than dynamically posed. You can see, for example, here with the Thunderbolt and the Awesome, they just are basically standing straight. Whereas, you know, this guy here, this Thunderbolt's got taken steps forward, one gun's down, the arm's pointed out, the awesome guy's torso twisted a little bit. You get into things like the Battlemaster or the Locust. They all have a lot more 
interesting poses than any of the old pewter um, battle mechs that came before. Catalyst Games Labs will be releasing several new mechs as part of a Kickstarter very soon for the clan mechs, and they look like they're going to be just as awesome as these. And if you play Battletech before, this set here is probably worth it just for the mechs alone. Now, those, the pewter mechs run anywhere from 10 to 15 bucks individually. I think they may even go higher at this point. And for this, for 60 bucks, you're getting eight mechs. <clears throat> it's obviously a much better deal not including the fact that you're getting some nice map sheets, rule books, and all that fun stuff. All right, let's move along here. Enough of talking about the awesome, awesome battle mechs because they are the coolest feature of this, of this game. Next in line, you got what's called the primer. The primer is not a rule book. It is an introduction to the universe of Battletech. This particular set is, takes place in the year 3025, which for those of you who are not familiar with the storyline, that is called the Fourth Succession War. Basically, no clanners. So these are all just normal humans, all in the inner sphere around Earth right there, or Terra, as it's obviously referred to in this franchise. Um, but So this is like a historical aspect of the Battletech storyline, because right now they're diving into what's known as the Dark Age, or actually they've moved, they're moving past the end of the Dark Age. But yeah, so this is like a this particular box that takes place in the history of Battletech. Alrighty, so now we're going to see some of the, the stat sheets here. So this is where you see the fact this is a bit of an old school game. Um, every battle mech you play has a full size stat sheet like this, and this is how you track damage, this is internal structure damage, this is a critical systems damage, this is overheating your mech, for those who play the video games, you have heat systems. And of course, up here is all your stats in terms of gameplay. And this up here is kind of what goes downhill when you get hit in the head. <laughs> but you've got record sheets in here for each of the different mechs. And these sheets are designed to go ahead, you copy them, print them off, all that fun stuff. And then there are construction rules in the rulebook to make your own battle mechs. So that's why in the last page here, you've got a blank mech record sheet for creating your own mechs. Now let's talk about the rule book. The one thing to know about this starter set here is there's no real guide to start playing. You just have a rule book. Um, Catalyst Games Labs does make what's called the beginner box. I don't have that. I don't really have a particular interest in that. But if you're brand new to Battletech and have never played it before, that may be your better option. Battletech isn't a hard game, but there's a like I said, it's, it hasn't changed much since the 80s. There's a lot of little numbers you got to know. There's tables and modifiers for um, rolling to hit and things like that. So it's not quite as streamlined as, and smooth as modern games tend to be. But it's a very detailed game where you can blow people's arms off and heads off. And then, I don't know if it's in this rule, but if you do blow people's heads off or arms off, you can pick it up and beat them to death with their own arm. It's actually kind of fun. Um, but like this is pretty much a complete rule book for fighting with mechs. In the back, you do have several scenarios, and just for fun, um, for those who have been around for a long time with Battletech, some of the scenario names will probably seem familiar, as well as the content of them, because they line up with Battletech, a third edition, at least not entirely, some of them do. So the scenario one is the final exam. This book I'm pulling out here is Battletech third edition, which was, I don't know what year this was, early 90s. This is the first version I played, um, but let's see what you've got here. <laughs> train scenario number two, final exam, final exam. You've got the next one, trial by fire, which is about a battle master that had a crap kicked out of it. What do you have here for scenario three? You've got trial by fire, which is a scenario about a battle master getting a crap kicked out of it. So there's definitely some little fun, um, References between the old scenario rules or the old scenarios and the new ones in this particular set. And the third one, Divide and Conquer, is the same name as the fourth scenario. And then finally, like I mentioned just a moment ago, the last section of the rule book is all about constructing your own battle mech, which is truly a hallmark of Battletech over the years. They've always had options and rules for creating your own um, battle mechs, having fun with that kind of a thing. All right, so finally we got a few more things down in the bottom of the box set here. You've got some really nice maps. These are just paper maps, so nothing terribly fancy in terms of construction, but they look absolutely beautiful. And you got a forest version as well as like a desert version. And each map is different. So it's not like old box sets like this one over here, a third edition one, where there's two identical maps. 
each of these two maps is different. So you really have four different map sheets that you can play on. And if you couldn't tell by the fact that these are hex-based map sheets, Battletech, so your normal version, is a hex-based game. There are miniature rules for it if you thumb around long enough, but primarily it's normally played on a hex map sheet. You've got yourself a quick uh, reference card here for all the stats and things like that. And then finally, the last thing you're going to find in the box are punch-outs. So this way you can get some extra battle max in the field, because at least one of the scenarios does have, I think, about 10 mechs on the field. At least there's 10 in the roster. So you do need a few of these punch-outs if you want to be able to play that particular scenario. And then you've got some extra little um, hills and other terrain features, one for the desert side and one for the, um, the for and you got one for the forest side that you can then deploy. So all in all, this is, game is actually a pretty good value for $60. I mean, like I said, the miniatures alone for me, let me get the old guys out of the way, the miniatures alone for me are worth the money. If you're absolutely brand new to Battletech and have no idea what you're getting into, it's probably best to start with the beginner box, just because that's kind of what they marketed for. They're, that beginner box, as far as I understand, doesn't have the full set of rules to it, the more simplified, whereas this is pretty much the full set of mech rules. But if you've played Battletech a few times, maybe you played at a store, maybe you got a demo of the beginner box, got an idea of what's going on, this would be a fantastic way to dive in to the Battletech universe. It turns out if I hold the box lid just for it a little bit, there's no lights. Well, anyway, well, there you go. That is your first look at the Battletech Game of Armored Combat by Catalyst Game Labs. Now, I, I know I've mentioned it before years ago in the old classic episodes of the Tabletop Battlefield, but Battletech is my most favorite tabletop game ever created. I would have to say the only thing that comes close is Alpha Strike, which is the faster playing version of this that we'll probably be talking about not too far in the future. But even though this is a bit of an old school type board game and a tabletop miniatures game, whatever you want to call it, it is so much fun to play. You really do need a couple hours to sit down and play it. This is one of the kind of things where I will take like a five, six hour slot at a games convention, get like six people together and play it for a while, because that, that's kind of the game it is. It's not really a hardcore tournament game. There's a lot of randomness to it. You can get your head blown off and get your big battle mech taken out pretty easily. So if, if you're looking for some sort of a really crazy go out, beat your opponent, crush them, and make a miserable kind of game, this isn't really the right one. But this is definitely a heck of a lot of fun to play. Just sit back, just laugh at what happens, and enjoy the gameplay, and enjoy the fact that it's set in an inc absolutely incredible universe. Um, one of the things that makes Battletech as a story unique from compared to, I think, just about every other major franchise out there is there's no aliens, asterisk, we ignore little bird things from that one book, Far Country, I think it was. <laughs> there's effectively no intelligent aliens in the Battletech universe. It's all humans, it's all exploring human culture, and in a lot of ways, the, the actual Battletech universe is really a reflection of are today's society just spread out among the stars. You'll be able to see recognitions of cultures and ideas and things like that. And it's a lot of fun just to see how stories unfold. You choose what great house you fight for, whether you fight for a mercenary company or you're one of those freaks who supports the clanners. But anyway, <laughs> you end up just having a blast of a time becoming part of what is truly a fantastic universe. So I'm rambling here. I do that a lot. But thank you guys all for watching. Once again, I'm Jason, the creator of the Tabletop Battlefield. So go ahead and subscribe here. Because in the not too distant future, we'll probably be painting up a few of these mechs. I'm looking at the new catapult in particular. Also, if you want to talk about real robotic combat, that's this channel as well. I've got some more test parts printed up for Micro Flash Delta, my three pound combat robot. As well as the Alpha Strike version will be coming out soon. I'll be talking about that rule book when I get a hold of it. And I probably should get back to working more on the Reaver Titan from Adeptus Titanicus. So thank you guys all for watching and have a great week.